Spring Creek Lavender family, hope all is going well with you. So, believe it or not, even though it's the middle of January. Oh, I'm not quite middle. Almost to the middle, January 10th. So we're almost there. We are actually starting to plant. So, um, Kevin and Kara, there's Kara. Hi. Down here in our newly created basement space. My voice may be cracking a little bit um, here. Lost my voice, I was skiing the other day, shouting too loud. So we are planting Lysianthus. Don't ask me how to spell it, but that's what we're planning. And um, so Kara's getting our trays ready for us right now. So um, she's putting some dirt in here, right? Uh, she's trying to scoop out, what kind of dirt is this, Kara? Well, it's, it's I wouldn't really call it, well, it's dirt, but it's pro mix. It looks like dirt to me. Yeah. I guess it's- It's like a potting soil. Pro. Dirt and- Pro mix, special dirt, okay? Don't just use dirt, cause then that's not good. Don't go out to your backyard and get dirt. So it's pro mix. Um, one of the tricky parts is, is these bags are packed super tight. If you've ever gotten it. Um, and it it's been out in the garage. And it's been in the garage. So it's kind of- So it's kind of cold. So Kara's having to use some muscles. So if you're a flower farmer, one thing is you will get muscles, right? Um, whether it's hauling these bags down, which I did, um, and uh, or putting them in. So she's putting these in. You just fill them up. Just fill them up to the top. Then we're gonna get them wet. Just fill them up to the top. What kind of trays are these? These are 128 plug trays. 128 plug. I'm gonna talk about that. Right? Whatever that means, she'll tell you later. What's up? So we put the soil on top. Now we have to compact the soil. Kara's making fun of me because I'm using a Sharpie. He doesn't want to get his hands dirty. I don't want to get my hands dirty because I'm using the GoPro and it's new and I didn't want to get it all dirty. He so. says he's not a farmer and I keep telling him he is a farmer. He keeps saying, no, I'm married to a farmer. But when you're married to a farmer, you now become a farmer, whether you want to or not. <laughs> I'll use my Sharpie. Okay. My tray is going to be better than her tray. So that's all I got to say. Fancy dirt. Yeah, you don't want to use just regular dirt um, because you don't know what's in your soil and stuff like that. And this has got some nutrients and stuff in it for the plant starting out. Um, you don't have to use a pro mix like we are using. Um, you could use some more organic mixtures and things like that. But um, since we plant a lot and since Elysianthus stay in these little trays for so long. Um, they're like 16 weeks, 14 to 16 weeks, I believe, uh, is what they're in the tray for. That's a really long time. So these guys are like super, super slow growers and they're not gonna be ready <laughs> for a while. So even though I'm gonna plant them out in May, it's gonna be, I don't know, a couple more months after that even. Um, they're more of like a late summer, fall flower. Now Kara is watering it. So um, Kara likes to play in the mud. You can see she's getting her fingers all muddy, but yeah, just putting some water in. Why are we putting water on Kara? Well, the soil needs to be wet. <laughs> Why? You need, well, the seeds need to germinate. In order for the seeds to germinate, it needs to be nice and moist. Um, for the beginning of seed life, you need it like almost 100% saturation in order for the seeds to to grow. Um, we're using pelleted seeds, uh, which means there's like a little coating on them. You can't really tell. I'll show you in a minute when we take them out. But the seeds are so tiny that they have to be pelleted, put in this little coating so that you could see them and pick them up. Um, so when you're first starting out, you want everything to be nice, wet, and moist. Um, and so I'm just getting everything wet right now. And in the future, I'm not going to, well, let's see. Normally I bottom water a lot of things, but I cannot find my trays right now. I have a ton of these cafeteria trays. Um, and I can't find them. They're missing. They're somewhere. It's cold. They're probably in the barn. So I'm just using trays basically just to catch the water so that it doesn't trip all over my table. Uh, but yeah, I lost my train of thought. What does bottom watering mean? What is bottom watering? Uh, when you water from 
like the bottom like on the tray so you're not watering the top because you don't want to displace the seed uh, like especially if you're using soil blocks a lot of times I use soil blocks to start because it saves space but because these are so long of a growing plant I'm using the um, 128 trays and as you can see when I lifted them up um, I cut these I cut these down in half and a quarter um, so that they fit on the tray. Uh, so this is my first time growing Lysianthus. Lysianthus is the flower that uh, got me into dreaming about flower farming. Um, basically it looks like a rose and we're gonna put a picture up and show you what it looks like while I'm talking probably here here somewhere uh, so you can see but it's the flower it's it's my gateway flower there's always one flower. There's one flower that you see that is like, yeah, I'm going to grow that. <laughs> and then it leads to all the other seeds that you have. So Lysianthus is my gateway flower. Her gateway, but she hasn't planted it yet. So we'll see. You'll be able to um, track and follow our Lysianthus from seed to flower. Mm -hmm. Is that the right term? Seed to flower. Yep. Um, and you can even come to the farm and see them in the summer. Yeah. So I grew Lysianthus two years ago. Oh, I was incorrect. She has grown them. She she said on camera, no, you guys heard it. She hadn't grown them. So, uh, so I haven't started them from seed before. Uh, this is my first That's year not what she seed. said. Do I need to rewind the video? Yeah. So I grew them two years ago. I shared with another flower farmer in Albany. We split uh, a few trays, um, but I made a lot of mistakes growing those the first year. First of all, I planted them way too late. I want to say I almost planted them in March. And I'm going to be... No, it wasn't March. I forget when it was. I don't know. It was... It was a while. Here comes Emma. It was a... <laughs> what you doing, Ems? Mommy, what are you doing? I'm planting. Wait, wait, down here. I'm down here in my new room. Okay, so we finished watering, and what's going to be the next step, Kara? So, we are going to plant. Okay. Yes. So, like I said, I have my 128 cell trays here. You're moving a lot. It's okay. Um, and I don't have, like, a tray to go into them, so I'm using my cafeteria trays. You can use, did I bring my foam trays down? Nope. I thought I did. We can put a picture up. Um, I have these foam trays that I do my soil blocks in. Um, I use the cafeteria trays the first year, but one little thing when you're planting flowers, you assume that the same kind of flower, like say a zinnia, you plant um, red, yellow, and white zinnias on the tray, you are gonna assume that they're going to all germinate at the same time. Well, they don't. Different colors of the same flower germinate at different times. So the problem I was having last year was almost all of my, say, red, I mean, it keeps popping in, all of my red zinnias germinated, but maybe only like 25% of my white had germinated. And once you get to 75% germination, you wanna take your flower seeds off of the heat mat and under the lights. So I was having trouble doing that. So yeah. So I used like these little foam trays, like little meat trays. Um, we have a local cash and carry uh, here in Utica that I went and bought just a, like a big pack of foam trays and I can fit um, 80 individual soil blocks on that. So everything else I soil blocks, but here it's again 128. It's a little bit of a deeper you can see it's a little bit deeper. Um, I could do it in soil blocks, but then I'd have to bump it up later. And so I'm hoping, because I'm just starting out, I'm only planting 500 seeds um, from GeoSeed. And uh, this is a small amount. So I'm just practicing, getting my feet wet, seeing what we're gonna do. But yeah, so I'm gonna use the 128 trays because I only have one heat mat right now, which Kevin will show you over there that is where the plants are going to go on it's a heat mat to keep the soil uh keep the soil warm 
plants like warm soil and colder air if you're they're a cool flower and lysianthus are a cool flower so i got my seeds like i said from geo seed i'm just going to tell you what i got and then show you a picture um all of these here are abc variety there's a couple different varieties but i went with abc so we have abc um abc2 yellow abc1 green abc2 purple abc purple. deep rose purple is my favorite. and abc2 rose so these are there's 100 seeds in each i'm only going to plant i think about 75 of each seed today that way if i really bomb <laughs> planting these and I don't get anything to germinate then I have a few uh, each to go back and try again How? and just in case I do a really horrible job you know starting these or not having good germination because they're not necessarily hard to grow but they can be a little tricky keeping them alive I also ordered some from farmer Bailey I got some plugs um, and I got two trays ABC <coughs> ABC white an arena three apricot. Um, I'm really excited about that apricot. I think it's gonna be gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, yeah, so that's what I got. I got a bunch of other stuff for him purple. too. Purple's my but favorite. Purple's your favorite. Well, we got purple in here. Pink is my favorite too. Pink is your favorite. So the most important thing when you're planting is you want to label. Don't forget to label because you're not gonna remember, especially when you have thousands planted. So last year I used one full um, tray, one, not one full tray, one full rack. shelf rack full. And right now I only have one row of lights, but each row is going to have two sets of lights. And I think I'll probably use about two racks this year, depending on what I start. But again, the soil blocks, I can start thousands on one rack. Whereas if I was growing in a greenhouse in the full size trays, I would need a large greenhouse. So for doing it at home all you need is shop lights um and a tray and you can go and so we're gonna I'm gonna show you we're gonna start with rose I like, and geo I like, seeds I like are really hard to open because they're lined i love geo seed geo seed has no thrills or no frills i don't know what you want to say no frills so they have no information on their packet other than what it is. It doesn't tell you like Johnny's how to grow it, how to sew it, any of that stuff. Um, and then their catalog, their catalog also, they don't have a picture for each thing, but they have a really good prices um, on their seed mix. So <laughs> I have a hundred seeds and it does not look like it at all. Can you see how tiny they are? Them. <laughs> Emma brought down a magnifying glass. I don't even know if that'll work. You think you're too close. Probably. Um, but yeah, we have, apparently there's a hundred tiny little seeds in there and it does not look like that at all, but. It's so tiny. They're so, they're so, so tiny. So tiny. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that and some people have trouble um, putting seeds in like a glass bowl like this, but, um, and so they'll use, like a, it's like a tin like night, thing. And then, that does not look like a hundred. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. All right. Um, and then I take my toothpick. I have my toothpicks. And we'll see, this might be a little tedious, but up here, up here. So this is a fancy trick. When these seeds are really small and you don't want to pick them up, I can try picking them up and do it, but you can also take a toothpick. Get it wet. And then you pick it up and you plant it in the center. And now you can't even see it. It's right there at the end. Um, and then you just keep going across one in the center. Now what I'm not doing is I'm not pushing it down deep in the soil. Oops. I want to see daddy. The casing's already coming off. Um, I'm not pushing it deep in the soil because Lysianthus needs light to germinate. So some flowers, some flowers, not sunflowers, some flowers need darkness to germinate, like they have to be covered and will not germinate unless it's complete darkness. Um, but most I would say a lot need um, sunlight. So. I'm just going to kind of make this smooth so I can see this. 
and then I'm taking out like big chunks. We're just gonna plant these. And yeah. So I finished up planting all my lisianthus and now I'm going to take some cellophane and just cover the whole thing. This is gonna act like a humidity dome and keep the moisture in because it's again you want it nice and wet when you're trying to get the seeds to germinate it really helps um, to keep them you can use like a dome or something like this but i find that the saran wrap works really well you just want to keep it for some not touching the seeds so that they don't take them off but this keeps the humidity in helps them to germinate, works like a germination chamber, sort of. Um, and yeah, and so then I'm gonna take it, stick it right under here, under the light. If I could figure out how to take this clip off. Here's Kevin. So yeah, they're gonna go under there and I'm gonna miss them probably once a day until they start to germinate. And see, I already had a seed stick to that and you want that to stay on there um he want good soil contact for them to go so yeah this is going to be filled up and on this one little shelf right here i'm going to have just shy of 500 seeds which is pretty crazy because there's one two three four five and then six if you really could get one on top there, but five shelves, so that's a lot. And, and these aren't even soil blocks. So soil blocks, you could fit a lot more. So pretty good. And I think that's it for today. Got any other things to say? Nope, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to continue to... Yeah, so like, si like, subscribe, like, can't, can't say it. <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment. We love to hear what you have to say.